Hello and welcome to the Master's Voice, the podcast series on MediaBrief.com. This is your host and friend Pawan R. Chawla, and with me today is someone I am delighted with the presence of on this episode. Please join me in welcoming Mr. K. E. Ranganathan, fondly called Ranga, Managing Director, Roka Bathroom Products Private Limited. Mr. Ranganathan. Welcome to the Master's Voice on MediaBrief.com. Hi, Pavan. Pleasure talking to you. And it's uh, I, I see, deem it as a great honor to be here on this uh, Master's Voice uh, hosted by you. You are very, very kind. Thank you. So by your leave, I am also going to call you and address you as your friends do. And that is Ranga. So Ranga, thank you very much indeed for giving me your time at the end, at the fag end of a working day. And I also want to thank uh, Siddharth Chatterjee from MSL, who's made this interaction possible. So, Ranga, before we start our conversation, okay, let me quickly introduce you to, you know, some youngsters who might not be too aware of about your profile and what you do. So, K.E. Ranganathan or Ranga is currently the Managing Director of Roka Bathroom Products Private Limited, the 100% subsidiary of Spain-based Roka Group, world leader in the definition of bathroom space. Ranga works closely on creating new strategies and opportunities to drive growth and further consolidate the company's leadership position. Ranganathan is a graduate in commerce from Madras University, an associate of Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, the ICAI, and an associate member of the Institute of Company Secretaries of India, ICSI. Ranga is also a Fulbright Scholar. He comes with more than 33 years of experience in finance, accounting, business planning, strategy, marketing and sales. Ranga has held senior positions in various companies in Murugappa Group and the TVS Group. Not new to Roka Bathroom Products Private Limited, Ranganathan joined Murugappa Group in 1994, where he was head of finance for Pariwear Division and later took charge of the Sales and Distribution Division. During his stint with Pariwear, Ranga brought a whole new perspective by refurbishing the key processes and focusing on result orientation, leading to sales growth at a CAGR of 25%. In 2005, Ranga headed Periware business as the CEO and played a key role in transforming the business into a joint venture company with Roka Spain. So that, my dear friends, is the wonderful, stellar professional and leader, K.E. Ranganathan, Managing Director, Roka Bathroom Products Private Limited. Ranga, once again, welcome to the episode. So Ranga, before we start our conversation, I want to set the context about Roka Bathroom Products Private Limited because there are some basics that everybody needs to know and be aware of and especially those in the trade, those in the business, those who are into the B2B and the B2C kind of spaces where bathroom products, sanitary wear, etc. is important. They know you, they know Periware, it's the biggest, largest market share brand in India. But, you know, for the sake of the backgrounder of our conversation, permit me to just speak a little bit about Roka Bathroom Products Private Limited. Roka, my listeners, is a major international range of bathroom and sanitary products present in more than 170 markets across the five continents, with 78 production plants employing more than 22,600 workers in its centenary year. In India, Roka operates five popular brands. Pariware, which has a major market share in its category, and four other brands, which are Armani Roka, Laufen, Roka, and Johnson Pedder. So, Ranga, you address all consumer segments across luxury, super premium, premium, and affordable. And in India, Ranga, you lead a complex operation from Roka, which enjoys a leadership position in the sanitary wear segment and has eight manufacturing units and 14 distribution centers, plus a strong distribution network of more than 7,800 dealers and retailers. So, you know, the first question always that comes to me, especially now that we are still in the third wave, the pandemic. Ranga, the pandemic must have hit you. In fact, everyone in the same space pretty hard. What was the effect of it and how did you cope with it, you know, inspire your teams to keep the business going? Yeah, uh, this uh, happened a long, long ago in the year 2020. <laughs> right? right. And uh, we saw this coming in a... In a interesting manner because uh, we are a global company mm. and in china 
uh, Roka is uh, a large player in China with similar eight manufacturing facilities. Okay. And I keep interacting with uh, all my uh, colleagues in uh, various parts of the world, being a global company. Hmm. So sometime in January, uh, my colleagues in uh, China told me that, uh, hey, there is a bit of a concern on the performance. There is a virus and. Uh, First, I thought it's like a bird flu, and uh, we always heard of these kind of uh, bird flu coming from Southeast Asia. I told him, uh, "Come on, yeah, manage Emilio. Uh, I don't think it will ever come to India because we are all strong fellows." <laughs> and on March 23rd, we got the shock that it has entered India and the shutdown, the lockdown happened, and. In that sense, uh, we were a little bit prepared because they alerted us saying that, look, if at all, if it comes to your country, these are the SOPs, these are the do's and don'ts, you need to have all these uh, sanitizers and uh, you have to keep cleaning the place and all those. Right. So to some extent, we were spoon fed in terms of the process. Okay. And then uh, we realized that uh, this is for uh, not going to be a short term affair as uh, we traveled into the last week of March and got into April, we realized that uh, it is better uh, we prepare ourselves. You know, it's like a boxing bout, you know, where your opponent punches you and you fall down. Right. And you have only a few seconds to get up. And if you don't get up, then you are declared a loser. So, we realized that we have to get up fast. So, in the month of April, uh, we got into a digital uh, switch very immediately because the entire business operation moved into digital. Mm. The factories were shut in a very careful manner mm. to follow the government regulation. Mm. And by middle of May, we started bouncing back uh, in terms of opening up the sales channel because sales channel is the first engine of the company. Absolutely. And then slowly by June, we are able to come back 40-50% uh, of the speed. And the first quarter, I would say, uh, was uh, a quarter of April, May, June. We operated only at around 40-50% of our revenue. Okay. And then immediately we started bound, rebounding faster. And you'll be surprised by December 2020, we were back to pre-COVID level in terms of the revenue. That's really amazing. Amazing. With no feet on the ground. The feet on the ground started moving by June in a very calibrated manner. Uh, there were a lot of SOPs, do's and don'ts. We moved into digital, uh, most of the transactions, uh, helping our partners. Hmm. We got into a digital technology platform called uh, Ariware Safe Buy, which was the first in its industry to launch a digital platform mm -hmm. where we brought in all our customers, distributors, plumbing technicians, products. Hmm. So sitting in your home, clicking buttons, you will be able to get the product home, get the plumbers to come home and then install also. Excellent, excellent. Really, the entire value chain. Wow. So basically, looking back, uh, I think uh, we divided the phase of uh, the year 2020 hmm. into four phases. Right? The first quarter was survival. So the business became zero in terms of revenue, whereas the costs were running at a good speed in terms of structure and all fixed costs. So we started looking and we renegotiated the rentals with uh, all the warehouses, offices. Hmm. We controlled all the other elements of cost. We did not get rid of people, but we stayed focused in terms of training them. We did an all-time high training digitally during that period. Excellent, excellent. So, we are able to be a little productive in that sense. And we ran some idea session with all the employees. We got some 5,500 ideas in terms of how to become more efficient as a company. Wow. So, the survival phase was April, May, June. Right. The revival was uh, July, August, uh, September. Hmm. And then upheaval started in the month of October. And then the year 2021 turned out to be the all-time high revenue for the company, the last calendar year, 2021. Right. So, I would say now, uh, today we are running at a hectic speed. Uh, we had a concept called the helicopter takeoff in the year 2021, January. Okay. We, we planned something because Chennai is known for a helicopter shock in terms of uh, Dhoni, mm. uh, who popularized <laughs> yes. from Chennai Super Games. And then uh, we coined the term helicopter takeoff uh, because business had to take off vertically, not like a 10 
2021 growth 20% growth right right so in the year 2021 january to december we delivered a mammoth 60% growth over 2020 60 this is a sort of a world record uh, across the roca group in 170 countries wow no country recorded uh, such a large pace and large growth amazing amazing congratulations thank you so much this this happened because uh, we put a lot of uh, thinking in the beginning and a powerful execution uh, team mm. so basically what uh, there are a lot of people who buy bathroom products right it could be a trader it could be a end consumer it could be a builder a contractor or an architect or a technician whoever right mm. our idea was find out uh, this group of customers uh, it could be hotels also hospitals hotels try and position us as the first choice mm. you know let them start loving us how will somebody love you when you are able to service them faster they are able to give innovative products when you are friendly in dealing with them mm. when you are able to empathize and then take care of them beyond the business right that is what is a bond building activities which we did in the market right and uh, through these four phases you would always have had two different kinds of target groups that you wanted to reach out to one would be the institutional and the other would be the individual or single end user groups correct right so the business consumers and or business institutional consumers hotels hospitals buildings societies you name it and then the individuals so your b2b and b2c sales so how did you target those two essentially even for institutional sales you would have to sort of put pressure indirectly from the end users and the general perception in the marketplace so it must have been a very tenuous kind of a marketing plan and promotional plan how did you go about it what is the split first between institutional and single end user sales in percentage and how did you roll out your plans to reach them see out of our total revenue which is now clocking at the rate of around uh, 170 crore per month which is roughly about 2200 crore per annum hmm. 70% is retail individual customer 70% okay 30% is institutional institutional means uh, hotels and uh, residential buildings all builders and all those kind of stuff right hmm. so we are always a brand uh, pariwear uh, is known as the consumer brand right because it has got a legacy from 1952 uh, when it was born in india hmm. it redefined the way the bathrooms are looked at by customer right hmm. it came with uh, no more bathroom only glamour room hmm. the bathroom got pride of place we used to uh, run a campaign saying with pariwear you get bedroom attached <laughs> normally you have bathroom attached beautiful so we said we are the first one to say with pariwear you get bedroom attached so because after when you are inside bathroom because you love the bathroom lovely <laughs> and uh, i have grown in bathrooms for last around uh, 25 years in bathroom and uh, people say we are working from home in the last 2 uh, years but i have been working from bathroom for last 25 years <laughs> <laughs> If you come to my office, I'm surrounded <laughs> by toilets. Now I put my hand inside in terms of a repair. I change the seat and cover. <laughs> I love toilets. Right? So this is how we we uh, enjoy uh, creating a brand called the Perry Bear. Right? No more bathrooms, only glamour rooms. That was the camp. Lovely. Right now, what we are campaigning is called uh, always in fashion. right hmm. because bathroom is a fashion and uh, today people are spending more time in bathroom than before because they are working from home and you want your toilets to be neat and clean you want some freshness you want a lovely shower you're able to spend some money to rejuvenate yourself and that is the thinking on which we started working in the pandemic time we had the retail teams separate teams working with the dealers and retailers to pull them back into the business mm. and we had a separate team going to the builders architects hotels for example hotels and all some of them were looking at the renovation mm. we gave them uh, electronic uh, faucet right because the hand wash became very popular so we don't want to touch anything mm. so these are the ways in which uh, 
we collaborate with our customers and uh, we are able to very successfully uh, restart the engine very fast so what were the popular products most popular products during the lockdown i think during the lockdown the mass volume products like uh, toilets and basins were going but uh, people started paying attention to electronic uh, items mm. like it could be electronic flushing electronic urinal electronic faucet mm. and also the antimicrobial seat and cover so right i have been uh, communicating in the last 25 years to the customer hey your bathroom is a dangerous room unless you maintain it very well because there are a lot of bacteria there are virus mm. people said hey kya hai kya virus matlab kya hai me to nahi matlab hai but today mm. thanks to corona everybody knows what is virus yeah absolutely and obviously the education has happened in terms of maintaining the bathrooms very well making sure that uh, you are hygienically concentrating and you are focused in terms of avoiding all the pitfalls right mm. so that way the, the technology products are uh, playing a good role mm. the hygiene products are playing a evocative uh, movement in the customer uh, space mm. and then overall we are bringing lot of lot of excitement into the category wonderful wonderful so what are the marquee products that roka has been pushing out in india which are very popular and they actually span different price buckets and tgs so just tell us very quickly give me the back of the envelope sort of description about these products see roka is a spanish and fully european authentic european brand and roka believes in developing designs by top class designers like uh, david chipperfield mm. ramon benedito these names are like uh, sachin tendulkar virat kohli for us right 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 if i go to india and tell anybody sachin tendulkar virat kohli they say yeah yeah we love them they are cricketers absolutely but if you go to europe and say ramon benedito david chipperfield they all know that they are world class designers mm. so mm. the products which roka brings are always top class in terms of the design it sure. could be thin wall basin it could be a very beautiful shaped bowl for the toilet it could be electronic uh, kind of items so roka stands as a reference point for technology and high class design right. so the colors for example are very very exclusive colors otake basins or something you will fall in love the moment you see the product wow. the price could be 25000 30000 but today mobile phones are 1 lakh <laughs> so that way you are spending money so right. roka stands for design hmm. paniwear which is the most popular brand in india hmm. is more elegant in the sense that it is a premium product made in india hmm. and people always give a, a elevated status to paniwear because they they made it more exciting for a bath it could be uh, mm. colorful products it could be antimicrobial seat cover it could be bluetooth speaker imagine in a shower we have built in a bluetooth speaker so i can go to my toilet uh, i can go to my restroom use my mobile to play my uh, famous uh, rajini and kamal songs and uh, i can listen to the song and also take a shower mm. these are the ways in which pariwear operates and we uh, have lovely collection between uh, roka and pariwear over 500 bathroom combinations can be made can you imagine excellent excellent what are your plans for the year 2022 you know growth potential any revenue targets current company strategy for india what do you want to share see 2021 was an all time high year for us in terms of revenue growing at 60% and taking market share further 2% up we are now 36% market share in the organized sector wow 22 I see scope for further expansion of the business. May not be at sixty percent growth because twenty uh, twenty was a suppressed year. That's a tough standard you set for yourself. Yes, but we understand because twenty one on twenty, so twenty was a lower year because of COVID. Three months practically one quarter we did not have operation. Hmm. But uh, looking at twenty two, 
I'm very confident that the business will move into 20% growth territory. Excellent. Why this 20% growth? Because the GDP is expected to grow at 8 to 9%. We typically grow at uh, two and a half times the speed of GDP because we have clear action plan looking at uh, B town, C town, new products coming in, loyalty programs taking further shape. And then looking at consumer-oriented action plans, you know, that is how we always create excitement in this category. So, in my view, I think 22 should see a 20 to 22% growth. Hmm. And uh, the proof of the pudding uh, has already been seen in the month of January. Hmm. As we talk today, we have almost done our target of January growing at around 32% or something. Excellent. So, this is something which is really happening. Uh, perhaps the next day helicopter takeoff is going to happen now. Wonderful. <laughs> Most strength to you for that. And uh, so what do you see is the reason behind Roka's high growth trajectory in the Indian market? I know the quality of the products, but I think it has to be a combination of everything. You know, the product itself, the marketing, the awareness, the positioning, all of that. So give me the very short and sweet answer to that. Yeah, I think as you rightly said, it's an amalgam of uh, many, many factors. For example, uh, Roka and Caribair has a fantastic distribution network. We have close to 2,500 uh, high-end showrooms in the country today. Wow. So, you can count of the country, you will have good showrooms, number one. Hmm. Number two, architects love Roka brand because uh, they would like to recommend something which is world-class. If you are an architect... You will, you will obviously try to recommend something which is world standard and uh, they appreciate the uh, niceties of a brand like Roka. Hmm. And then third, uh, the product range is fantastic. A uh, lot of new products keep coming every now and then and that way the uh, traders and uh, retailers are very happy. Hmm. And we have a world-class loyalty program for all our trade partners. About 20 or 20,000 of them across the country are members of this loyalty program for the last five years. Hmm. So, we are the ones who defined the loyalty program in this industry in 2017. Excellent. Very nice. So, tell me, what do the current consumer buying trends and spends in the bathroom industry indicate for you? Any new trend that you believe is going to dominate? Like you did mention that thanks to the pandemic, electronic, non-touch, antimicrobial, etc. kind of products are definitely taking off. But anything else in the consumer buying trends? Yeah, I think uh, post-COVID, uh, people have realized that they have to renovate the bathroom. This we saw happening in China also. And uh, people are going for uh, more uh, comfortable products in the sense uh, uh, one-piece toilets are becoming very popular and then larger showers are becoming very popular, which are multi-flow showers. There are showers with uh, three to four uh, different types of flow, Mm -hmm. including the misty one, the massage one, the uh, super flow, uh, fast flow showers like that. Hmm. And then coming to uh, faucets, I think people are looking at very elegant designs with electronic uh, fitted uh, faucets. Hmm. And toilet bowls are becoming larger and they are going for either one-piece toilet or they are going for wall-mounted toilets, which are with uh, concealed uh, cisterns or something. So, definitely uh, we see the trends emerging. The colors are coming down. People are moving more for white and off-white. And... uh, the most uh, exciting thing is people are looking for one brand to give the entire solution, including the concealed part of the toilets and uh, like the CPVC, UPVC, all those piping. So that way, I think uh, the customers feel that they'll be able to get a good deal and also trustworthy brand to offer everything. Excellent. So let's talk about marketing a little bit. You know, before COVID-19 and how Roka has changed the marketing strategy for itself after the imposition of the lockdown and, you know, so far. So what was your marketing strategy like before COVID-19 and what has it been like now? What has it evolved into so far? See, uh, before COVID, uh, we used to spend a lot of money on the uh, television commercials and uh, print and all those kind of stuff. Mm. But now, with the advent of uh, COVID uh, from 2020 June, we started spending more on the digital road. Mm. So, we became very popular in the social media. 
and all our investments started going into that direction okay and uh, print print was little less and the television we uh, moved out in the year 2020 21 middle we came back to television because television is still a mass media hmm. but predominantly we are now moved to digital advertising okay which is uh, in many forms in social media so if you were to look at the percentage the pie hmm. the size of the digital advertising pie pre covid and now what is the difference so pre covid it was around 5 to 6% but now i guess it should be 25 to 30% that's the kind of swing okay and television of course still sort of rules the roost there because it's it's a huge mass medium yes television is still there also we spend a lot of money on the on ground activities like new showrooms coming up and then uh, sign boards and all those kind of stuff so right now uh, post covid our uh, digital spends have gone up uh, to a level of 30% from a previous 6 to 7% level before covid mm-hmm. we also spend a lot of money on the television commercials and the print medium mm-hmm. also on the on ground uh, new showrooms that come up across the country sign boards and hoardings and all those so definitely digital is uh, going to be the future in terms of uh, popularizing the brand mm-hmm. because there are a lot of uh, people who are surfing the net now mm-hmm. and uh, there we need to be clearly present in many forms absolutely any important memorable marketing campaigns that roka did during 2021 or during the lockdown and you know so far yeah uh, we did uh, quite a lot of campaigns and in fact uh, economic times uh, awarded the best digital campaign for the year 21 to roka as well as pariver we ran campaigns which are connecting to the customer in a very interesting manner wow for example uh, during the lovers day we ran a campaign uh, connecting the uh, lovers in the bathroom <laughs> very interesting contents wow because when you love each other in a bathroom the setting is more is different right so <laughs> some some interesting thoughts were there that sounds very interesting let me try and see if we can play out the audio of that campaign here mm-hmm. sanitary wear a category just like the color that dominates it has long been as vanilla as it gets The slow involvement functional product category struggles to get customer attention. On Valentine's Day, Barry Wear wanted to change that. With pandemic going on, couples spend most of the time inside their homes. They got to know things about each other that they normally wouldn't ever. They even made gestures to rekindle their chemistry. Barry Wear tapped on this change in behavior and launched a first in its segment AR filter called the Low Filter. The interactive AR filter revealed what they both thought about each other's bathroom habits in a fun and engaging way. The questions were simple like who's the bathroom hog? Who's the messier one? And the couples had to simply tilt their heads to respond. When turned on, the filter placed the couples in a beautiful Paris-Wear bathroom where they could take the quiz and then share it with their friends and family. The low filter got much love on social media. Even the popular social media personalities like Kamya Jani, Dimpi Sangvi, breathtaking postcards tried it out with their loved ones. With over 3.1 media impressions and 1.7 million video plays, the filter received a lot of love and was an immediate hit among the couples. It attracted more than a million users. Even today, the Paribel Low filter continues to exist on Instagram and sees much engagement from couples. Just like the brand Periwear that's always in fashion, the Love Filter is also here to stay always in fashion. Very interesting, Ranga. What else? And uh, in terms of other digital campaign, our uh, Safe by campaign won an award uh, from uh, one of the publications uh, talking about uh, how digitally we are connecting customers and the traders and uh, the technicians. Mm. So that was also very popular. Mm. Then we ran a campaign for embarrassing moments. Okay. How do you uh, overcome an embarrassing moment, right? So <laughs> these are all very connecting to the customer in a very uh, easy manner and very powerful uh, manner. So people are able to remember the brand, right? Hmm. Then in televisions we ran a loo break campaign. So the loo means it is Pariwear. So every loo uh, has to get an association with the brand Pariwear. So we ran a loo break campaign. So these are the ways in which we bring life to the brand uh, now and then. 
So you place it in the mental home page of your viewer or reader or whichever medium that you are approaching them through. That's really good. Our task is also a little easy because the first to brand any individual sees in the day is the toilet. <laughs> right. Because you get up in the morning, you straight go to the restroom. The first you pick the basin or a commode and you see the pack word everywhere on Roka. So your day starts with the loo brand and it ends with the loo brand. True, true, very true. And I think Periware has uh, the largest market share in its segment, right? More than 40%? Correct. And regionally it differs. For example, in Tamil Nadu, Periware will have 70% market share. Oh, wow. And maybe in Delhi, it will have 50% market share. And in Calcutta, it will have around 30-35% market share. Let's talk about, you know, your advice for youngsters, okay? Let's assume that, you know, somebody comes up to you and says, Mr. Ranganathan, sir, I am a fresh graduate and I want to work with you. Hmm. What are the qualities, you know, the two or three qualities or skill sets or attitudes or talent or whatever it is hmm. that you will always look for and, you know, want to see in a youngster? I mean, your HR guys will have vetted the person and then sent you a profile which sort of checks all the correct boxes that are required correct. but on the personal front on the personality front or whatever it is individual front uh, what are the things that you really look for yeah simple i like uh, for example people who are always cheerful smiling and who are need not be brilliant i i never look for highly intelligent people at all because our job is not to be trying to be smarter than others but i want somebody who can pass energy who can be positive in thinking wow. who is willing to experiment who is willing to uh, slog it out right hmm. who has the required uh, uh, strength and energy and be sporting hmm. so these are all uh, the qualities which i look for in a guy see i i don't care about product training and all because it will take hardly two or three months to get trained in a product but the attitude is something difficult to train unless they have a natural flair for uh, these kind of stuff you know? mm. basically i look for uh, cheerful guys and you know one assumes and i think perhaps correctly that this is a very male dominated sector and subsector that you are in you know what about the female employees that you have i have lovely youngsters in fact uh, the tamil nadu manager is a girl and uh, marketing i have a lot of girls uh, with whom we interact and they go out and then talk to customers and architects so i always find them a bundle of uh, energy and joy because they bring in freshness into our thinking nice. and they challenge us also very intelligently sir why not we do that why not we do this why not we run this campaign most of these digital campaigns are born out of their interest so i i i really look forward to whether a man or a woman or a boy or a girl at any age they have to be always cheerful smiling looking at something to create every day nice looking forward to the future rather than you know uh, tripping too much there are bad days in an office no doubt but we need to get back quickly and then get on with life where do you see the entire sector or subsector of industry that you are in what do you see it growing into in the next whatever foreseeable future i think uh, india has a great potential as far as the bathroom industry is concerned because the toilet penetration in india is hardly 65 to 68% mm-hmm. and there are still 35% of the homes do not have toilets mm. and india is a growing country very young country with a lot of passion for uh, uh, swachh bharat kind of moves and all and the country is becoming even more richer as it grows in the economic development mm. so what happens with that scenario the continuity of building toilets is going to happen that is one on the new toilet one on the renovation of the toilet so it is good to be in the toilet business for next uh, 100 years number one number two inside that business continuous innovation can always make us the market leader so if we have to grow at faster than the market obviously we need to be smarter right we need to create uh, the leadership uh, in every aspect of the business and uh, this is one business where i have seen in my experience on 35 years 
this is a b2b business this is a b2c business this is a b2b to b2c business this is a b2g business we sell to government we sell to private parties we sell to consumers and it's a service industry we have a huge bathroom service campaign going on correct so you want a brand you want a manufacturing you want a distribution you want a retail you want an e-commerce every damn thing in this world is inside one company right and that means it is never boring company so well and so succinctly and so tellingly told ranga really very interesting right ranga is there anything else that you want to add for our listeners on the masters voice on media brief.com or uh, shall we conclude our chat yeah i think uh, my advice to uh, the uh, the youngsters is uh, i always believe there are no dull markets there are only dull managers so in any market in any given condition it doesn't mean the last entrant will die so we need to be smarter we need to be faster we need to be innovative also on the personal side of the life i would always urge people to follow the 5h uh, which uh, akito morio of sony talked about in those years mm. humility humanity humor hope and health all these five hs are very essential for us whether we are a 5 year old baby or a 100 year old man or a lady right so always if you follow these five very closely you will find life is more meaningful life is enjoyable and we create happiness around us wonderful advice thank you very very much indeed ranga it was really really enjoyable and very insightful i love your passion i love your vision and you know uh, i just love your complete attitude and approach and my god the amazing revenues that you uh, brought in together with your team for your company which actually is a matter of pride for an indian subsidiary rather because it's gone and beaten everybody else in about 170 markets so salute kudos to you i enjoyed my chat with you ranga what is your view what did you think of our conversation on the masters voice and media brief.com so far thank you so much pavan media brief.com has done a wonderful job under your leadership and pavan means media brief everybody knows his masters voice podcast is a great idea great innovation which you have brought to the table and uh, people feel enriched when such innovative thoughts are executed with passion and i really uh, like uh, conversing with you and in my next trip to mumbai i'm going to knock at your door meet you pavan at mediabrief.com and we are going to go to your toilet and have a nice coffee there and that's the bathroom which i would love to see <laughs> you will find some of your brands there for sure wonderful wonderful i really love talking to you so thank you very much indeed ranga and thanks also to siddharth chatterjee of msl for having made this interaction possible thank you bye bye cheers K. E. Ranganathan, Managing Director, Roka Bathroom Private Limited, fondly known as Ranga, was my distinguished guest, a very, very friendly, insightful, extremely experienced and very wise, sagacious gentleman, so warm, so friendly and with such amazing results achieved for the company. Till we meet again in the next episode, this is your host and friend Pavan Archavala saying, thank you for having tuned in. I'm going to come back with the master's voice yet again on MediaBrief.com. Till then, stay safe. Stay safe.